Hey what's up guys this is Byfrost here and Daemon Switch has now been released officially on the Play Store page and no this is not the fake version of Daemon Switch emulator which we saw months ago this is from the official Daemon PS2 emulator developers it has been launched on their own page and you can even see the ratings has started <laughs> and it's not looking good now as you know Daemon emulator team has been teasing this emulator since the past few years and now we can finally try this out from the Play Store itself so let me just go and uninstall and reinstall it because I have already tried out this app for those of you guys who don't know if it is real I'd like to tell you guys that don't try out this emulator for now just watch my video and then decide if you would like to install it or not you guys can see that the emulator has now been installed on my phone and this is officially available on Play Store but before you give it a try I just want to show you guys what is this emulator Demon Switch requires the following permissions to work uh, properly now this is where my first skeptical point starts because it asks permission to access device information and your rough position why do they need my location right so it's not looking good for Demon emulator let's just go ahead and click on agree uh, I'll just go ahead and click on only this time for approximate. I am using a different phone so I don't have my main contacts here. I'll just allow this permission. So yeah, it's looking pretty fishy. Right here it will ask you welcome to Daemon Switch. Where do you want to save your game data? So let me show you guys that if you want to store your game data such as product keys, title keys and also uh, game files you'll have to create a folder known as Daemon Switch which you guys can see right here. I have already created and if I just open it you will see that I have already loaded three games which I'd like to show you guys if they work or not I have also dumped Nintendo switch firmware in this folder because I want to show you guys few things you won't understand this right now but anyways it's just like switch Droid folder but we'll need to create a separate folder like daemon switch uh, which I have already created so we can also use private data but anyways we'll just go ahead and click on ok and click on use this folder click on allow you can create this daemon switch folder Afterwards, it will say requesting ad as always uh, daemon emulators are filled with ads But currently I think uh, this app has not been monetized yet So there are no ads being shown now this right here is the interface of daemon switch emulator We already saw this previously in leaks uh, and many other news sources But if I just go to the me section Here's where the main thing starts. So you can log in or create an account and also they have linked their social medias for daemon switch. Now let me just go ahead and click on these settings and it will ask you to import key file. So right here as you can see import keys. You can just go ahead and click on select file and select your product keys. Afterwards it will ask you to import firmware files. This is the reason why I dumped my uh, Nintendo switch firmware. So let me just go ahead and show you guys daemon switch. So I have dumped firmware 15.0.1. I thought we'll need to dump firmware because as you know in Ryujinx emulator 2 we need to uh, install firmware before using the emulator and I also chose the firmware location by clicking on select folder going to firmware 15.0.1 click clicking on allow and the firmware folder has now been chosen as well now let me just go ahead and go back and talk about this emulator so first of all they have also created their own discord server which I joined but it's completely dead as you can see it's a uh, Chinese discord server so we'll just go ahead and close it it's not uh, relevant for now but anyways now if we just go to browse you'll see that after choosing a specific folder where I have stored my files I can just go ahead and click on the NSP file of let's go Pikachu it will state cannot start the game because this is not a switch game ROM now if you notice then there are three different types of file extensions here one is .nsp one is .xi one is .nro so I am trying out NSP it's saying that it's not a switch game ROM now let's try out .xi file it will still say that cannot start game because this is not a switch ROM which is totally false if we just go ahead and click on the NRO which is Nintendo switch homebrew game cannot start the game this is not a switch game ROM so now I am guessing that the servers of this emulator have now started as you know even in AGNS emulator if you are not connected to an internet connection the game does not go in game so I am guessing that the servers of daemon switch emulator have not started yet and hence we cannot actually uh, start playing these games because as you know the ads aren't rolling out so uh, if they want to make money by the simulator they will first of all implement ad and only after that they let you play game because if you guys remember then in daemon ps2 emulator there were ads every two seconds while emulating a game and yeah 
for the fix for ads uh, it was like a purchase pro membership etc which is also present in daemon switch even though the emulator does not work at all they still added professional edition uh, subscription which is really really scammy bro not going to lie at all but anyways it says pur uh, purchase the professional version to unlock all features permanently and to permanently remove ad displaying lifetime free upgrade so it's like five dollar we already know this was coming but the games actually do not work so even after adding firmware even after selecting keys even after uh, dumping my games into this specific folder the games were not playable because it does not recognize my nintendo switch games and you will also see that the icons right here are of <laughs> daemon ps2 emulator they didn't even try to add a switch icon but more than that they are literally using yuzu emulator logo which is like bro what the heck are you doing man seriously they don't even have their own logo guys seriously like they don't even want to uh, like before they used to say that we didn't steal the source code or whatever but now they are stealing the source code they are implementing ads they are not even making the emulator playable and still accessing all your information uh, before starting the app it asks for permission so should you install the daemon switch emulator right now nope don't install it right now but maybe once the update is released and once uh, their servers are working the games may start uh, going in game that's just my assumptions now if we just go ahead and click on settings then you can see there are two types of subscriptions here advanced features and professional edition i'll also show you guys the settings which are present in daemon switch but you will also see at the top right corner we have an coin system but let me just go ahead and click on scan roms and show you guys that even after scanning all the roms all the directories uh, etc it still says discord rom is zero so there is indeed a problem with the emulator it does not work right now i don't know why they released it even though it was not working i think because all the people who are complaining uh, this emulator was scheduled to release in 2021 now let's just go ahead and discover some settings so if we go to system you have frame rate cap limit speed percentage multi core cpu in emulation dock mode they have written it as dock model uh, time zone language uh, normal settings if we go to cpu uh, accuracy is auto fast memory has been enabled and other settings are disk pipeline cache well asynchronous gp emulation enable now they have indeed given settings and if you guys know then they even posted a gameplay where mario kart 8 was running on the daemon switch emulator but for some reason i am unable to get my games in game we'll need to figure that problem out and whenever that happens i'll make sure to upload a video so be sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notifications so you do not miss any more videos on nintendo switch emulation on android but anyways these are the only settings present in this game for now and they still are promoting uh, the professional edition of this emulator even though the game do not go in game so that's a pretty bummer that's why i asked you guys to watch the full video first and now you can decide if you want to try out this app or not in my opinion i would recommend you guys not to for now because it's not playable it's not useful so i'll be just go ahead and uninstalling it so that's it for today's video thanks for watching goodbye